So here's the project. We got a couple of uh, residential towers here and uh, some of the uh, areas have been irrigated over the years along the side and in front of the buildings. But uh, we got half of this area that has not been irrigated yet. Uh, actually not this area, but uh, this is the area that I am going to put in some sprinklers. So every year this grass, of course, burns without any sprinklers and you know, people hand water these areas. There was a uh, a drought here two years ago and almost all this hedging died out but you see over the two years and someone diligently hand watering this daily has uh, brought it back when I saw this originally it was probably three feet three and a half feet uh, about one meter tall and it all died back but it was trimmed down and they planted a few additional ones to bring this hedge back and uh, the plan is that uh, all this hedging is going to have the uh, rainbow drip line in and I'm going to be putting rotors along the perimeter basically spraying all this grass area so it's gonna be four zones total we got an inch and a half main so we're gonna have about uh, 20 18 to 20 rotors and two rows three rows here of drip line probably two low rows along the back uh, so we got a hose bit here and in that valve box we got some wires so the main line inch and a half main line is actually right there which is very convenient and there is extra wires which is really nice and they go all the way back to the timer I'm hoping so down this side we have uh, a main line that comes out with a shut off over in the side here so I can shut the water off I don't even have to go downstairs to the underground to shut it off and it's really straightforward basically just dig along the perimeter put rotors in and bring a line for the drip so probably over a thousand feet of drip line and about 800 feet of PVC. Gonna cut across here. Basically have one zone, one zone of uh, lawn and one zone of drip following down there. And then this side, we will also have uh, one zone uh, rotors and uh, drip line both sides. So down to the end here. It's mostly all hedging. They have bark mulch there, so I'm actually going to move the bark mulch and bury the uh, drip line. So I'll be using the uh, uh, burial style uh, drip line opposed to the uh, surface run. And this is going to be phase one of the project. And we walk back to here to see that there is actually uh, irrigation. The sprinkler, I think, ends there. I see it wet there, so it ends there. So the project is from here back to here running all the way over and then in the future uh, this area will be irrigated as well steps and walls so will be some drilling to make this look good uh, you see the sprinklers end here so I think that's the last one there so the main line somewhere goes through here but that will be discovered at a later date not that important for the first project here. So let's get going. I'm gonna be installing rotors in all this burnt grass area. So I'm gonna be digging along the edge and also the bed areas on both sides are gonna have a drip line. I'm just gonna move the bark mulch to the side and uh, dig a trench all the way along. It's gonna be four zones, got an inch and a half main, uh, two zones uh, on a low pressure drip line and uh, rotor sprinklers for this uh, grass area here so basically uh, uh, one zone rotors uh, one zone drip line here and then down here one zone rotors and one zone drip line four zones total should go pretty smoothly the weather's not bad uh, I already have uh, a main line inch and a half main line on the surface and uh, appears to be some extra wires so don't have to do any of that uh, half this property is already irrigated so what I have here got an inch and a half uh, coming up so I'll be tying in uh, around the corner where I've already dug up the main and uh, saw that it was there and uh, just dig around the perimeter go from there I like to uh, set up a tarp this was actually one tarp and you cut it into about two and a half feet I move my bark mulch to the side it makes cleanup a lot easier move it right to the edge of the grass line you can basically lift the tarp up and you save yourself a lot of energy and a lot of cleanup 
So I got this stretch all in, coming around the corner now. Pretty easy digging. Tarps down, easy cleanup. I came across uh, quite a few roots in this area here. So some I've cut through and some I've gone under. And here was a big, big old root. I could have tried to chop through it, but instead I, I went under and then came up with a 45. Then uh, 45 around the band and should be a little bit easier. Reach that corner over there. So I'm along the back side now and uh, I'm trying to follow the shade. So using the tarp still. Had to cut across the grass over here. The sun kind of came in so now I'm just going to leave it till maybe get a few clouds later in the day. But uh, as you can see the valves will be over here sliced across the grass. Going to run three pipes to here. Uh, this will be one zone for rotors. The other side for rotor and as well as I can have a drip going down both sides. And I'm going to carry three quarter inch pipe down to the corner there where I will have a, uh, another uh, junction where I have a drip line following to the corner of the property there. So this afternoon I'm hoping to uh, trench down this side here for my rotors and uh, that will probably be a full day for me. So here we have the uh, valves are all installed now. I'm just going to go pressurize it and uh, wire it up. Just thought I'd leave it open uh, and turn it on just to make sure there's no drips. Because now's the time to fix it. Uh, you don't want to have to be digging this up later. Things are still flexible. And, you know, once everything's backfilled, moving those pipes around is so difficult. So I always like to fill it, uh, not fill it, but uh, pressure test it first. So we got the system all finished here. This is uh, the zone one of the rotors. It gets uh, 10 sprinklers. Got our valves in here.
Here's a week later, you can see the green starting to come back. Everything's looking a lot healthier. And here's uh, the second rotor zone.